Everything you said did make sense, too. We have to think about it, talk about it, then you will hear from us. Ciao, ci vediamo. Stata buona. Grazie. E tu, ci andiamo. Andiamo a Duke, I don't know how you've done it. I didn't think anybody could get those guys' attention. Seems to make sense to them, doesn't it? Did to me. Is Olivia downstairs? She's having dinner, I believe. Would you ask her to come up here? Right away. Tell her I want to see her right away. All right. Live human being is answering your call. Hi, Olin. Oh, it's hi. Duke. Is Anna there? Nobody's around here, bud, but me. You expect her to? Late for supper already. You want her to call you back? You know I do. Gotcha there. You at the club in New York? Yes. I'm upstairs in the apartment. Okay, bud. I'll tell her. Thank you, Olin. Yes. You wanted to see me? You could say that, yes. Aha! Somebody's stolen your secretary. Hi! She left hours ago. She's going with us. I know. Actually, I'm just killing time. I have a an appointment at the hospital later on. Check up. You say Alan? Mm-hmm. Patrick was very accommodating. He knows it's hard for me to get away with him. Market's open. Well, isn't that nice of Patrick? Mm -hmm. You want some company? I'd love it. What have you been up to today? Oh, I had a little, uh, business over at Anna's. Are you and Anna working on something new together? Hardly. No, she sent Robin off to camp, which is not in itself unusual, but the fact that she did it in such a hurry leads me to believe that something doesn't smell right. What's the matter? I think she found something out. Something about Lavery and his scuzzy friends in New York. And I think she's worried. Worried about what? Worried that Lavery could be part of the Jerome crime family. And this is something that I have personally suspected for a long time. It's something that she refuses to admit. However, I've warned her in the past that Lavery's activities may place Robin in danger. And quite frankly, if that's the case, she is just as responsible as he is, especially if she's not telling me something. Uh, sorry, I guess I got a little carried away there. Well, um, it's understandable. Mm. But let's not talk about gangsters anymore. Makes me nervous. Amen to that. Well, time to go? Yeah. Just as soon as I say goodnight to Mr. Dow and Mr. Jones. Then do it. Good night, fellas. Now, I've got to say that you are very upfront and very refreshing, kind of like an oasis where I don't have to think about the bad guys. <sighs> they think they are. Robert's driving me crazy. Can't even speak to my husband. But if it means that my daughter's going to be placed in some trouble, then everyone's got a problem. And I don't care whether you're her mother or not. Because she'll all deal with me, one way or another. Who do you think he is? She's my child, and I can take care of her. Hey, Chum, I don't mean to interrupt your conversation. Do call it. Want you to get back to him ASAP. Yeah. Uh, on second thought, Chum. Forget the ASAP. Maybe you should take a couple of deep breaths first, huh? Good for your voice. Yeah. Better. Much better. Say goodbye, Owen. <laughs> Why should I call him? Every time I call him, he doesn't speak to me. Deep breath. What is this happening to us? There you go. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Two times. Thank you.
So busy, Olin must be gossiping with her friends. So, how did the meeting go? Same old story. As with the other groups, they responded fairly well for the most part. I think they understand the advantages, but they just need some time to talk about it. Well, the others came around sooner or later. Yes, remember, we started out with the easier ones, huh? Well, how does my father view the situation? He seemed very pleased. You didn't see him when he left downstairs? No. I was having dinner over in the corner, and he didn't see me. And I wasn't too thrilled with the prospect of getting yelled at for being here anyway. Now you come to mention it about you being here. You and I, together last night. Did Anna call and ask for me to call her? Of course. She did. And you didn't tell me. Of course, and I did tell you. You did? Naturally, I told you it was a message for you. You must remember. Even though... Even though what? You did have a lot of champagne to drink. I've had a lot to drink before and I haven't forgotten to call my wife. Are you suggesting I'm lying? I'm not suggesting anything. I just cannot imagine. Because if you are, I can just get out of here no, right now. No, I... I didn't mean it like that. Well, I should hope not. And while you're standing there thinking so hard, why don't you give some quick attention to how you can apologize to me? Yes, God, nothing important. Just checking in. Hmm? Yeah, at the hospital. No, 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 no. Um, uh, it's, it's to Cheryl. Uh, listen, any calls, principally from Anna? Yeah, all right. I don't know uh, where I'll be, but I'll check back with you later. Yeah, bye. <sighs> Maybe, maybe you're getting a little bit lonely up at Kippy Chicago or whatever you've done. Maybe I should make you a little visit. Maybe like tomorrow. Hmm. Thank you for seeing me so late, Patrick. No problem. I just remember you're you're fine now, but just keep me posted if anything happens, and I'll see you next week. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Son, no news, good news? Yep. Holding my own. Good. Where shall we go? How about a walk in the park? Okay, we can go and feed the pterodactyl. The pterodactyl? The pterodactyl. You haven't seen it? What? Chicken what soup. Chicken or something. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's got the cards? Who's got the cards? Where are the drinks? We need a table. It's a bar stop. We're going down. Who's got the 